lovely peoples, I am Michelle, this is my wheelchair buddy, and you are watching Rebels NYC. So the other day or so, I went to a protest. Everybody that would been really royally screwed by the Medicaid cuts showed up, and we all kind of were in solidarity together, and that was beautiful. So at one point in the protest, people were making little speeches. And I said, can I make a speech? And they said, yes, you can. I said, thank you. Hello, I am Michelle. I am proudly disabled. So after I made my little speech, there was another person in a wheelchair. And in her speech, she said, hi, my name is blah, 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 blah. I don't remember the name. And I am handy capable. Handy capable. Handy capable. And when I heard the words handy capable and saw that it was coming from a fellow disabled person, my brain went, huh? Because I had only ever heard the term handy capable from non-disabled people. And I've been really thinking a lot about that. Why do we choose the language that we choose and like where does that come from? When I first started getting involved in the, in the disability community, someone who was more like a more of an elder, not elder, who was more experienced in said, no, 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 no. Don't say disabled. The, the appropriate term is PWD, or person with a disability. I was like, oh really, why? You know, and, and they explained to me that because when you say disabled, non-disabled people are failing to see that you are also a human being and not just disabled. And I was like, oh, okay. And I, I, I you know, I, I didn't really question it because I didn't know and I, I, I was very new to the community, so I was like, all right, I'm just gonna like sit back and, and learn and watch. As time went on, I started to notice that PWD, uh, or the, the term PWD, is often accompanied uh, with the sentiment of like, see the person, not disability. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, that doesn't even make sense. If you're seeing me as a human being that I am, <laughs> then how are you not seeing that I'm in a wheelchair? After all, if you're not seeing my disability, then you're not seeing that I need accommodations, and you're certainly not seeing my oppression, and then you're not going to then fight for me. It seemed very, very similar to the idea of being colorblind, and not in the medical sense. I mean in the sense of like, oh, I don't see race. I don't see skin color, you know? And I'm like, okay, the problem is not that you're seeing skin, like varying skin color exists, and seeing that, is not a bad thing you're just seeing what is the problem is is when you put a value based on that skin color or, or worse a varying value based on that skin color or one skin color is superior and the other skin color is inferior that's the problem not you seeing that there are varying skin colors and it's the same thing in regards to, to disability the problem is the problem is not that you're seeing my disability it exists! It's visible as fuck! You should be seeing it. The problem is default negative value that you're placing on disability. And I want to say that I did not even get to this point till after I started being some, some like other intersectional disability activists, you know? And that was really, really key in me developing my own sense of disability identity and pride. And that's when I started to just question things. I'm a woman. Do I, do I, do I say, I'm a person? with womanness? No, I say I'm a woman, you know, and do I need to remind you that I'm also a human being? Uh, you know, I am also queer and bisexual. Do I say I'm a person with, with queerness or a person of sexuality? No, I say I'm bisexual, I'm queer as fuck. So then why do I need to remind you that if I have, I have a disability that I'm also a human being? And that's when I started identifying as disabled and then eventually as disabled as fuck. That being said, however you identify is totally your prerogative, and in no way am I here being like, wrong, wrong way of identifying, you know, you have to go with what you feel is right for your own reasons. But I think one thing that is really, really key and why I'm sharing this story in this video is that whatever you choose, stop and question, is this choice of language, this choice of identity, rooted in disability pride? or internalized ableism. What do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section because that's where they belong. Uh, so, boop! Uh, here are some other videos that I am also oh casually pointing to. Walk, walk, walk. Check them out because they are related and maybe of interest. Take care of yourselves and thanks for watching. 